I never sit behind a desk. I'm usually sitting on a sofa. I like to sit here and see everyone. JW Anderson started off as a menswear brand. It then progressed into women's. The men's and the women's were being sampled at the same time, so it ended up, they kind of started to look the same. And that's where the brand kind of started to get more steam. My days are, um, are, are complex. I just became creative director of the Spanish luxury brand Loewe, which is owned by a large conglomerate called LVMH. My week is kind of split that I do a Monday, Tuesday in Paris, and then I do at the end of the week here. So it's a lot of toing and froing. No, I think I, I would prefer Joe to come up with new looks. Who's doing hair and makeup? It, yeah, I have, I have a lot of phones. I need personal and I need Loewe and I need J.W. Anderson. They all need to be separated because it gets a bit kind of confusing sometimes and sometimes you reply to something when you think it's for something else. Before we were all in one space, everything was in one kind of room. And the design team, they want music on and then the finance don't want music on. So it was a bit kind of, you couldn't really get anything done. So we luckily found this building, which used to be an old clothing factory. Like an old building has a bit of kind of soul to it and it was nice to go into a building that used to be a factory for clothing. I think there's something quite nice about that. On my cabinet, I have, I have awards, <laughs> which are quite nice as objects. Maybe one day we try to fill the whole thing if we keep going in the right direction. Let's see another walk. The way in which I work is very on the body. I'm actually dyslexic, so I find, for me, I need to work 3D. Can we try a high-waisted trouser with it and tuck it in? We usually do most design collection work in the morning. Those first five hours is where you get everything done. Do a walk. We just have to make sure it doesn't look too uh, horse riding. Let me see. Try the red leather one. Mega, mega whore, but that's what we're all about. Creativity will always be the most important thing for me. It's the drug of the job. But you realize that you cannot produce collections that are not going to make money. And you start to realize that creativity, the clothing, is a part of it probably relatively 25% of a brand because it is about marketing, it's about PR, it's about business structuring. You know, when you have your own label, every garment has your name in it, oddly, and it, it becomes a very personal thing. So it's like you want to build your house and you want to put the people into your house and whatever you put out has to be uncompromisable because I want the brand to last for a long time. Mm -hmm.